Weevil is that annoying cockroach who keeps showing up throughout the series no matter how many times he's squashed. And don't worry, he probably takes that as a compliment. After all, he is the insect duelist, but insects have only had a handful of moments to shine in the game's history. Weevil's boss cards, Insect Queen, and the Ultimate Moss have received retrains in recent memory, but that still leaves us room to work with to make a Weevil deck really buzz. This archetype may not be perceived as an archetype in the typical sense. There isn't a standard naming or one central card. It will instead be generic insect support that is geared toward a specific playing style that is emblematic of Weevil. And that strategy is infecting the opponent's monsters. Weevil does this in his duels against Joey and Yugi with cards like Parasite Parasite and DNA Surgery, so now we get a chance to see that strategy in modern day. For short, you can refer to it as the Weevil deck or the Parasite archetype. Starting off is the retrain of Killer Needle and that is Lethal Stinger. Why yes, I do have a thesaurus on my bookshelf. If this card is summoned, you can target another monster on the field, equip it with him, and if you do, it destroys it at the end of the standby phase of the next turn. And if it's equipped, that monster becomes an insect monster. So like I said, part of this strategy is going to be turning other monsters into insects. Its other effect is that if it is sent from the field to the grave, you can add a level 5 or higher insect monster from your deck to your hand. So like a bee, it kills itself to kill the opponent, but also acts as a searcher for some of the bigger monsters of the deck. Next up is the retrain of Kuwagata Alpha, and that's Kuwagata Omega. If your opponent summons a monster, this has a quick effect in hand that you can equip that summoned monster with it. So a non-targeting way to, yes, turn your opponent's monster into an insect. And if you control a level 7 or higher insect monster, it has the additional effect of negating the effect of the monster that it is equipped to while your opponent controls it. And so you'll see what I mean by that specificity later on. It also has another effect at the start of the damage step. If it battles a monster while you control a level 7 or higher insect, you can destroy that monster, then return this card to your hand so you can use its in-hand effect. Next up is Soldier Fire Ant. If he's summoned, you can special summon up to two more copies of himself from your hand and or deck, but you can only summon insect monsters during the turn you use this effect. That's a limitation that's well worth it because when your opponent activates a spell or trap card or a monster effect while you control a level 7 or higher insect monster, you can tribute this card to negate the activation, turning all your boss monsters into partial omni negates. Next up is the retraining of the Hercules Beetle, and that is the mythical Hercules Beetle. If an insect monster is on the field, you can reveal this card in your hand to special summon one insect monster from your hand, but you can only use this effect once per turn. And then also once per turn, if each player controls an insect monster, you can target one card on the field and destroy it. Next up is an anime exclusive, and that is Pheromone Wasp. If your opponent only controls insect monsters, this card can attack directly. While that's only 800 damage, it has the additional effect of when it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can special summon one insect monster from your deck at the end of the battle phase, so being able to call out your big bosses straight from the deck. And now we get to the extra deck, the retrain of Quagga Hercules, Omega Hercules, taking the respective retrains as its fusion material. This card must either be fusion summoned, or by tributing one of the above materials you control equipped with an equip card. If this card is special summoned until the end of the next turn, all monsters currently face up on the field become insects. And then also once per turn, this is a quick effect, you can target one insect monster your opponent controls and take control of that target until the end phase. So some cool disruption, as well as being able to steal your opponent's monsters and turn them into insects without having to target them. Starting off the spells is another evolution of the Laser Cannon Armor series, and that is Insectoid Laser Defense Cannon, an equipped spell that grants an insect monster 500 attack and defense for every insect monster in your grave, though it can't attack directly. It also has the additional effect of if it is sent to the grave because the equipped monster is removed from the field by battle or card effect, you can equip this card to one monster on the field, and if equipped this way, the equipped monster becomes an insect monster. So a few things going on here, first it allows it to recycle itself to keep turning monsters on the field into insects so you can use it for cards that require insect monsters that equip with cards and that brings us to the second aspect of the card that it allows you to hit that requirement to have an equipped card to an insect monster as well as reaching the 2000 defense threshold to bring out the ultimate great insect. 
Next is a meme of a card. Where do they keep coming from? This is a continuous spell where once per turn, if an insect monster on the field is sent to the grave by battle or card effect, and that could be your monsters, it could also be your opponent's monsters that are turned into insects, you can banish that monster to special summon one insect from your hand or grave. And finally, we get to the field spell Hive Mind. This card cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects while an insect monster is on the field because they're all protecting the hive. Next is when it's activated while your opponent controls an insect monster, you can add one cocoon card from your deck to your hand. And finally, if a monster your opponent possesses activates an effect, you can equip one monster on the field with one card from your hand or grave that has an effect of equipping to a monster. So some of those monsters we showed up above, some of the monsters that already exist, as well as some of the cards you're about to see later on. And you can only activate each effect of Hive Mind once per turn. So this is going to be the card that really makes things go by A, being able to search out your cocoon cards and B, consistently turning your opponent's monsters into insects. So now we get to the trap starting off with another anime exclusive. This is a normal trap Mimesis. If your opponent targets an insect monster on the field for an attack or card effect, you can shuffle that monster into the deck and special summon one insect monster from your deck with a different name from the shuffled monster. So being able to get out whatever effect you need or also being able to meet the requirements for a card like Metamorphosize Insect Queen, which needs to be special summoned by a card effect. Next is Parasite Worm, another anime exclusive card. This card has the effect of targeting an opponent's monster and equipping it with it. And while it's equipped, that opponent's monster, you guessed it, turns into an insect. You can also banish this card from your graveyard, then target one insect monster on the field and destroy that target. You can only activate one Parasite Worm per turn. And finally, we have Swarmy, where you swarm the field with an army of insects by special summoning one insect from your hand and grave each. Then, if you control a level 7 or higher insect monster, you can take control of one insect monster your opponent controls. You can only activate one of these per turn. So this is another way to take advantage of the opponent's monsters that you're infecting. And this card, like Omega Hercules, can take your opponent's best monsters and turn their effects back on if they are being negated by Kuogata Omega. So that does it for the Parasite Archetype. Hope you enjoyed. And be sure to like and subscribe for next week. We just did Beavis, but now... Come to Butthead. <laughs>